Hey, what's up? My name is Matt from Mount Joy, and I'm uh, showing off some gear here today. This is a uh, Martin HD35. It's actually not mine, it's Sam's. I actually only use it for one song in the set for tuning reasons. Tune it to open E um, and use uh, 12 gauge strings because uh, there's a lot of tuning up. So, uh, yeah, use 12 gauge Ernie Ball strings for this one as well. And then this is a. Uh, this is my uh, electric guitar here. Uh, it's a Fender Starcaster. It's a reissue. Um, and uh, use it for a few songs, I don't know how many. Uh, and use Ernie Ball strings on this as well, uh, 11 gauge. So this guitar is standard tuning. As for the tone, um, I usually keep, kind of depends for volume, but I usually uh, keep, the, keep it on the middle, so I use both pickups and then I Usually keep this one pretty high, kind of depends as well. Uh, and then throughout the show, I sort of modulate the uh, top pickup volume. So this is the amp that I use. It's a Fender Deluxe Reverb uh, 68. Um, and I run my acoustic and my electric guitar through this. Um, my electric guitar I run through the vintage channel. And then my acoustic I run through uh, the main channel there and I basically just keep the volume really low on the acoustic channel and the idea is to just be able to mix that in with the DI and kind of create a, a, a bit more full sound and try to stay away from the like pure DI sound as much as possible because I don't prefer that. Yes, yeah, so this is my pedal board. Um, I have an EP boost which I keep on pretty much the whole time whether it's acoustic or electric. It kind of gives like a tape boost um, that I really like. Um, and then this is, uh, I basically have two reverb pedals, though one is uh, also a tremolo. I have the uh, Meteor by Caroline pedals, um, and I use that specifically on uh, a few songs. Um, specifically Bigfoot uh, is a song where it has this Havoc option, where you can basically hold this down and it sort of like reverberates into itself and creates kind of a crazy noise, and I use that at a couple different spots during the set, Bigfoot being one of them. And then this is my uh, one of my favorite pedals. This is uh, Flint, Tremolo, and Reverb. Um, I keep the Tremolo on, um, the acoustic sometimes, like for Astrovan, I, I run the Tremolo. And otherwise, I keep that Reverb um, on the Flint on the entire show. Um, and then that's pretty much it for my chain, except you know I run an AB, and when I'm using the acoustic, I'm going through this DI, which is an LR Bags venue, which is really great just because gives you a ton of different EQ options and you know especially uh, going from venue to venue that's huge with acoustic guitars you know having to being able on your own to pull out low end or notch it uh, is huge and so this is the acoustic guitar that I use um, most of the show um, I have it tuned down so it's technically in like standard tuning in terms of voicings and stuff but it's from C to C instead of E to E um, and I do that on this Gibson Advanced Jumbo um, and it's just, I love it because it's just such a warm low tone and I'm kind of going for that with the tune down. We use Ernie Ball strings, I, these are 13 gauge to try to uh, combat the intonation problems you might run into tuning this far down um, and for the most part it, it's good. Um, and let's see. And I basically have a bunch of acoustic guitars for tuning reasons. Uh, this is the guitar I use on Silver Lining. Uh, it's kind of like my original acoustic guitar. Um, it's a Martin DC-16. Um, and I, I just love this guitar. I, I, I tune it to open C, uh, which is the tuning of Silver Lining. And, uh, and yeah, I really only use it on one song, but it's, uh, it's got such a unique sound. Um, I've played it for a really long time and just, yeah, it's a special guitar for me, for sure. Same strings, I actually do, uh, so on the strings that I tune way down, for this tuning it's C, G, E, so that's actually up a whole step, and I put a 12 on the E, and then every other string uh, that's tuned down, I put 13s on. And then this is just a backup guitar for when I inevitably break strings. Um, it's a Martin DRS-1, and I, it's just a guitar I've had for a little while, and it works great. Uh, 
and just we're lucky to have it as a, a just-in-case situation. Uh, oh yeah, and it's I, I tune it to the tuning of uh, of the Gibson because the Gibson's the guitar I use most of the set, so as a backup, it makes the most sense to tune it that way. And then, yeah, last but not least, this uh, ukulele, which was actually a gift to me um, from my girlfriend. Uh, it's a really good gift, and now we use it use it to write uh, the song "Dirty Love," and now we play uh, play "Dirty Love" on it. I've actually never changed the strings, um, which is probably bad to admit that, but they've held up so far. We're just waiting for the moment when one of them pops, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's a Cordoba, and it, it you know it has a pickup built in, and that's sort of been really cool for us to try to push this thing through my pedal chain and, and try different effects on it and see how far we can push this little thing and it's it's done a really great job. We put out a, a new record, uh, self-titled, uh, in March. Um, you can find it um, wherever you buy music um, and our socials are our socials are all Mount Joy Band, MT Joy Band and yeah come see us. We're on tour this fall. We're uh, doing most of the country, so yeah, come see us on tour.